some people have asked um, for better directions on how to make those pot holders out of pieces of wire. Um, I started off with uh, two pieces of wire that were uh, a little bit longer than a foot apiece. Um, I bent them around um, to make a handle shape. The biggest factor here is to make the handle shape so that it's it'll fit inside of um, your camp pot when you're finished with it. So um, I bent these around so that the handles are about three and a half inches. Um, I found out through trial and error that you bend your wires straight across at the end when you cross them uh, because if they're crossed in an X then then the, the plier part will tend to bend on you bend and bind on you so you end up making two shapes the most important part at this stage is to make sure that both your handles are are the same basic shape and then you you can fudge them around make them fit a little bit better once you get the handles at the, the same basic general shape and size then the easiest thing to do um, I made these shapes out of copper because they're easier to bend around and show for a demonstration you take both your handles and you tape them together uh, so that they'll stay put and then it's easier to work if you bend one wire at a time down and then you usually what usually happens is you have to shorten them up a little bit the only thing that they got to do is fit through the handle so you bend them down and around and you do the same thing Yeah, I had to stop and think that I was doing these the right, the same ways or not. Shorten it up. Just long enough at this point, you just need it to, sh to go through the handle. And you bend it around. These pieces just need to be, th this is your jam fit. So, they need to come back around just a little bit a little bit past level now you need to make your um, your pot holder and again you need to make sure that it's long enough and short enough that it'll do the work and it'll still fit inside your pot holder four inches is usually the limit so you go four inches to the end of four inches to the end of the handle and I usually mark it with a sharpie four inches to the end of the handle and then what's really handy is to have a little mandrel bender these are cheap this one cost me I think three and a half bucks um, and you could do the same thing with with nails pounded into um, pounded into the top of a log or piece of lumber you take your mandrel and you line it up at your four inch mark and you turn your 90 degrees and you notice the four inch mark is down here now so what you're doing is you're matching these up so that they're roughly the same length these don't ha these don't have to be perfect So, you do your second one, and 
you're probably going to have to dress these up with a pair of pliers. That got a little bent. And now that your plier is basically formed, your biggest concern is that this wrap right here around the pivot is tight and it doesn't and it doesn't bind so now that it's up up like that now you can take your tape off or your plastic tie or a little piece of rope whatever whatever you used Of course, I had to use the best tape that I had. Pull it off. you got your pliers formed now you form yourself a little d-ring the easiest way to do that is to form it across and then wrap it over double like that your d-ring will fit over the top of your handle and it rides clear up there to the pivot at the pivot it can stay it stays up there where it needs to go and at that point the only thing that you do is you do a custom bend do a custom bend of your points up here you do the same steps with these except you're going to do a lot more struggling because the wires the wires are heavier and it uh, it's just harder to bend so that's why I made it in copper Hope that's easier to understand now. We'll see you later.